Eight on your side, special coverage from Cuba as the country mourns Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro's ashes are on a journey that reverses the route that took across the island nation after seizing power in 1959. The procession ends in Santiago, where Castro is going to be laid to rest this Sunday. Cubans are in a state-mandated period of mourning for their former president. The normally vibrant mood in the island nation is now somber, and that's having an impact on the tourism business there. News Channelist Jeff Patterson is uh, the only Bay Area reporter in Cuba right now. Joins us now from Havana. As tourists continue to cruise into Havana, some of them no doubt planned their trips weeks and months ago. As they arrive in this historic city at this historic time, many of those tourists may be surprised at what they find. Every hour on the hour, they fire a symbolic cannon from the castle above Havana to mark the death of Fidel Castro. Hearing the news of his death was jarring for some. He, he started talking about the loss that he had, the loss that we have. And right when I pop in my head, you know? Oh my God, just feel all just nice. I've spent time with Ricardo Hernandez in Havana before. He's helped us with transportation and translations. On this trip, he told me about the night Fidel Castro died. As soon as he heard the news, he called his wife into the room. She was watching soap operas in the DVD or whatever. She changed it right away and listened to him to start crying. That makes me cry too. The day after the news broke, Cuba closed popular tourist bars like the Floridita. Alcohol sales stopped. Music went silent. How is that impacting business? I guess uh, it's, a, it's a party really hard because they don't, they don't sell alcohol. But for a good reason, I guess. Herman Garcia runs the Coliseum restaurant in Havana. When we were last here, you had just opened. So how is your business now? My business now is uh, it's good. I've also spent time with Hernan Garcia before. He runs the Coliseum restaurant in Havana. His small Italian-themed restaurant is near the historic Malacone. With it, he supports his wife and growing family. The business depends on tourists. No, no problem, the food is okay. The people coming for food, not for drink. For many tourists, no music and no alcohol has translated into no business and empty seats. But Garcia tells me he's okay with that. The business no, no close, you know? After Fidel Castro is laid to rest this Sunday, life will return to normal here in Cuba, even if the future is a little uncertain for some. In Havana, Cuba, Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.